For question two, we are required to find the inverse of this function. So the first thing you do is you swap your x and y. So I'll rewrite the function in terms of y, and then we swap x and y. And yes, you can solve this on your CAS if you wish. Now we need to make y the subject. So let's flip these around. So we get y plus 2 equals 1 on x. Let's square both sides. So we get y plus 2 is 1 on x squared. And then y equals 1 on x squared minus 2. Okay, so we know that that's the inverse. So that rules out these three potential answers. So we're left with a and b. Yes, you could sketch it on your calculator. However, if you look at this function carefully and you look at the domain, you'll notice that the range of this function here, the range here, has to be positive numbers. It has to be positive numbers because we can't take the square root of a negative quantity and we have 1 over a positive quantity, so this is guaranteed to be a positive quantity. And the range of our original function is the domain of our inverse. So looking here, we're looking for the one with the domain, it's the positive reals. So our answer is A. Notice that you can reject B b because this domain has negative values it's all the reals excluding zero so this has negative values this quantity can't be negative so that's how we know the answer is a